What is going on guys? It is Argus Guns and for today I have a review for you on the Aero Positions M4E1 Complete Lower. And before we get into the review guys, I'd like to ask you guys to please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. It helps me out grow my channel and I am trying to continue to uh, get much bigger. I'm trying to hit now 3,000 subscribers and I'm trying to keep going and hit the sky. Um, so if you guys don't mind, go ahead and please hit that like and subscribe. To get into the review, we're going to break this up into two separate subjects. And for the first one, it's just going to be a quick unbox, which pretty much we're just going to go through and go ahead and unbox it and take out the product itself, which is the lower. And um, the next one is going to be a parts list, so it's already parts on there, and um, what's coming to the future for this setup. So yeah, let's hop right in. So you guys know I already did open this, but pretty much the only thing I took out of it was like the sticker and everything else I kept the same and I did swap some things out, but I'm gonna go through it and I'm gonna explain to you guys. But overall, this is the box that it comes in. Just kind of says that right here. The top is the same identical thing with identical at the bottom. Information on the sides, <clears throat> that's all that it is. And let's go ahead and check out the lower inside. So nice little Foam right over here. Bam, here's the lower itself. Sweet, let's check out the rest of the things real quick. And ultimately we got some paraphernalia. There's a receipt from when I paid for it. There was a sticker which I took it. Thank you for your order. Um, where was this ordered from? I'll post it up top, can't remember. Uh, but what's my personal information here, blur that out. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty much everything you get inside, which is all this, uh, all some of this stuff right here, a sticker and this padding, and this is ultimately everything for the packaging. So this is Aero Precision's M4E1, or at least I already added a couple of things, so this is what it actually looks like. Um, but this is where we're at now. But let me just go ahead and show you this lower receiver, because it's actually pretty freaking nice. And um, yeah, check this out. That's right inside. I did add oil in there already just to keep it all nice and lubed. And um, yeah, really, really, really nice. Um, once I added the oil, this is all just smooth, very tactile. Sounds good, like it. Mag release works really well as well. Yeah, I really like how they added this right here, how they did the slits on this bottom side for the trigger guard. That's pretty awesome. But yeah, everything so far seems really, really good. I really like it. Um, these lower receivers are made out of 775T6 aluminum, so it's just very strong, durable um, uh, aluminum, which a lot of lower receivers are made out of this stuff right here. And yeah, it's got an all mil spec stuff side, mil spec trigger. Um, trying to think real quick, these come with a like flared magwell, which is pretty cool. And it is actually pretty flared, it looks really nice. And yeah, this is the lower for aero precision. And let's go ahead and talk about what I have added on here. Uh, yeah, let's hop right in. So I just got this in and I have not added much just yet. Um, ultimately what I've added is two things and I do have other things planned out for the future. But what I did add right off the rip, it's gonna be the Magpul Mo SLS stock. And I have to admit, this thing is, um, I mean, this thing is really nice stock. Really like it. And uh, let me go this way as well. Yeah, this is a really nice stock by Magpul. This definitely reminds me of the uh, BCM B5s. Um, it is right up there. Nice, nice friggin' stock, man. Um, this adjustable thing right here is actually really nice as well. I like how the stock is nice and sturdy. There's no wiggle around in this whole thing right here. Really like that. Um, but yeah, really like the stock. It's been awesome. This is what the stock did look like before I forget. Um, this is the old stock. And this is the Mo SL stock. So this is the SLS and this is the SL. And as you can see, the difference is this first in size alone. Oh, you can't tell from there. It's just not a good way, but it is smaller. There it is a good way right here. Put it right here. It is smaller, like significantly smaller and thinner. Um, I feel like this would be great for like carbines and I'm gonna save it for maybe a future carbine build for this one right here. Um, but yeah, I want one a little bit bigger because this is gonna be going on a 14.5. And yeah, just looks awesome. The, the uh, stock on this is really nice, the grip for it. Yeah, and this is the uh, 
old one and this is just the SL and the and like I said this is the SL and this is the SLS uh, yep and then the other thing that I changed out as well and put this up there and the other two the other thing that I changed up was the grip and I went with um, Fab Defenses AG43 which is this one you see right here and the reason why I went with it was because I actually took it out of the box to check it out and I gripped it and the grip was really, really, really nice. It really was. So I wanted to give these a try because I normally don't go this route, but I just, just wanted to give it a go. And I really liked how that felt. So, and I do like it. Um, it looks pretty good too. I wish it had an FDE, but this is still really nice. Really, really like it. This is cool. Um, the old stock was the MOE SLE as well, or the SL stock. And I did add the cover for the bottom on it. Um, but this was a uh, stock, excuse me. This is the old for, uh, grip on there. And um, this one is a little bit bigger, and obviously the grips are much nicer, as you can see. It's got a little bit more of an angle, which is, which is cool. I like that more slight. Sl I like this slout, this slope of that, which is going to push it up and kind of comes back down. So this is a really cool and nice setup, man. I'm really stoked about it. And the feature stuff that I'm going to do with this is uh, I'm going to be getting a ambidextrous mag release for this right here. Uh, so that'll be one of the first subjects I'm going to do. I'm also going to do an ex a larger and extended. Um, uh, bolt catch so so that way this is a little bit bigger kind of comes out the sides a little bit bigger and I also have the one to release and this I'm not gonna get ambi because some, it actually does sometimes get in the way so I'm just gonna keep it um, just the way that it is and I am gonna do for this one right here I think I'm gonna try one of those LaRue triggers they're uh, 80 bucks man and I hear nothing but good things about those triggers so I think I'm gonna check one of those out um, and see what LaRue has to offer um, but this is ultimately what I'm going to be doing with this uh, setup right here. Um, I'm going to be doing this possibly with a BCM or maybe a PWS. I'm not too sure. I have a couple of stuff coming in still. Um, but this is what I have so far going on with this one, man. My overall conclusion, um, I actually think it's pretty nice. Uh, this is like a newer style model. It's very modern. Um, it looks really good. Trigger is okay. All the other, me all the other mechanics on or controls in this are really, really nice. Um, I already did some upgrades, which makes it feel and look amazing. So that was that was a big plus. Um, but I think that once I get the trigger in there, really honestly, I think this is where this lower is going to really shine with that new trigger, um, and it's just really nice. I'm really excited about it. So my impressions of, of uh, arrow precision so far are really good. Everything is actually pretty, pretty nice. You know, no nasty mill mill design shots or spots anywhere that I can not that I notice. All the scratches so far have been me from putting other other uppers and slide racking and stuff like that so far. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. That's my impressions of it, man. Um, if you guys like this review right here, man, this kind of table talks, go ahead and please hit the like and subscribe. Um, I have a whole bunch more stuff coming up. And uh, you guys, I think you like what's really coming. Um, but yeah, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe. And you guys get to see more of that stuff. You get to help me grow my channel. And um, yeah, I would really appreciate it, man. It goes a long way. I hope you guys stay safe out there.